Okay, we're at 415 Gardenia. We are going to check out the sewer using the jetter to propel us down the line. Edit from the front one. I say the front one, that's the closest one to the street, but it's the furthest away because it drops out uh, in the back of the property. Okay, we got a little water in the line, no big deal. We do have a separation here. I'm going to give you a, an estimate to uh, put a uh, patch at that 34 foot spot. Okay, you need to remember that the camera head is only about three quarters of an inch. So just because there's a you see water or it looks like it's underwater doesn't mean that it's uh, full of water. See, even though we go underwater for a second and we come back, that means there's just a little water in the pipe. I didn't see any evidence of any backups. Usually if a line has a problem of backups, you'll see evidence from the outside clean out when it backs up it will spill out around the hole. I ran a lot of water in this uh, spot. When we get to the other spot you'll see the water running. So. Like I said, even though you see water in the line, that doesn't mean that's um, that's bad. This is, uh, see, see how we came out of that full of water and then the water, it didn't abruptly change that much. That was just a little bit of water in the line. Uh, I don't even want to call it a belly, but uh, you see, and you can see the water flowing down. Okay, this line goes for about another five or six feet before it hits the next clean out and that was as far as I could push it without being hooked up to the jetter but we're going to drop down into the next clean out and we're going to carry on to the next clean out that last five feet that uh, you had to strain your eyes to look down was okay so like I said now we're dropping down into the second clean out and that's going to show us uh, the next section of sewer okay here we go again Again, if you don't take your eyes off of the screen, you're going to notice uh, you're going to be able to see the sewer in a second. Watch. See? That means the camera head, again, is only three quarters of an inch of that. And that means it's only that amount of uh, water on the bottom of the pipe. So as we go down the line, you're going to see that you have flow. This is a very long run. The sewer's been in there a long time. It's not going to be crystal clear. But it's running well. Okay, well we found out there was a semi-blockage forward of this. So we cleared it out. So the combination of the semi-blockage and running all this water to propel the camera head upstream is making this so we can't see the pipe. So I'm going to cut it from here and we're going to go to about 200 feet. Then we're going to look at the line coming yeah. backwards.
where I am at now is about 15 feet past the last structure with the garage door. And it's also part of the line that we're going to look at again from the last clean out. I was running some water so we're getting a little bit of a too much water in the line right now. Like I said, we're going to go through the third clean out is going to take us through this section again. So we're going to look at this section again. This section through the next clean out is going to be around 25, 30 feet. Okay, what I'm doing here now is rechecking the line because of that obstruction. I forced it down. I'm, I'm jetting. That's why we're getting uh, some water. But I just wanted to let you know and show you that uh, I got rid of that obstruction. I jetted it uh, out to the street. water running down
bear with me because I... Pick it up a little bit, please. water in the line but yeah I mean it's going down it's a long line and it's flowing it's uh the good thing is I don't see a lot of junk like a lot of build up of sludge Okay, a little recap. This was the second section. Now we're going to pull out and uh, go down the third and last clean out, which is going to take us to the street. And that's going to take us to the full room of approximately 575 feet. going in uh, from the last or uh, the uh, third clean out Let's see okay what I do again is I propel the camera head with a jetter hose which uh, pushes it along so we're going to start getting quite a buildup of water. So what I'm going to do on this last shot is I'm going to cut it, and we're going to start by the end of the line, the city tying okay, in, and look sure at the I'm conditions the right on the way back. Water. Okay, we're past the property line on the other side of the fence, out into the street. We're going to see the city. That's the city. See the city going by quickly? That is the city. Traveling west. So we're going to pull out and we're going to look at the condition of the sewer on the way back on this last run. Okay, looks pretty good. Motor's going. Might have water running down the second clean out. which is a couple hundred feet away. At least. Yeah, this looks good.
Okay, I'm going to recommend a patch here. water okay all in all I think the sewer look good there are two spots that could use a patch 34 feet past the first clean out and 74 feet past this last clean out I think uh, the sewer is uh all in all, fine. Yeah, good flow at the very end of the line. Everything was going. I don't see any backup evidence around any of the cleanouts. Like there was junk laying around. Like uh, you know, evidence around the, the cleanout itself. You know, like runoff junk. Like this has ever been a problem. Okay, so that's it for now.